Hello everyone. In this new video tutorial, we will learn how to use Recycler View in Android. By the end of this video, you will know how to create a Recycler View that is scrollable. To get latest programming tutorial content, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Without any further delay, let's jump in and get started. In this tutorial, I am gonna design a Recycler View with the company names along with their logos I'm gonna choose FANG companies those of you who don't know what FANG is Facebook, Amazon, Netflix and Google to create this list view first of all I'll be creating a POZO class of the FANG names my POZO class name will be FANG I will have two variables in it. One will be the name of the company and the other would be the URL of the image. I have taken URLs of the fine companies from online. By using Alt plus insert, you can easily create a constructor in Android Studio. Similarly, press Alt insert and select getter setter to create getter setters. For the variables now as i have created the fine class now i will go go ahead and create an array of fine members fine a r r equals to new fine now i will go ahead and create the company's name the first company will be Facebook fine space Facebook equals to new fine of Facebook comma I have already segregated the URLs and kept ready I will just copy paste corresponding URLs here Similarly, I'll create Amazon equals to new Amazon. Let me copy paste the URL as well. Now I will do the same thing for Netflix. So the reason why I have chosen the fine companies is many of uh, we have desire or dream to work in one of these companies. So that is why I have decided to go with the fine companies. Now I will do the same for Google as well. Let me copy paste the URL of Google logo. For some reason, I also wanted to include Microsoft in the fine list. Name will be Microsoft and let me take the URL from here I think I have included a white space in over there I let me remove the line that I have included yeah now I think we have five companies named now I will add all these companies to my array one by one I forgot to mention the size of the array initially so I will mention it now array of 0 equals to Facebook array of 1 equals to Amazon array of 2 equals to 
netflix array of 3 equals to google and finally array of 4 equals to microsoft by that we have made our data entry to implement the recycler view we have to add its dependency in our apps build.gradle file i will leave the link in the description so that you can easily copy paste now click on sync so that the, our application downloads the library corresponding to the recycler view it will take a couple of minutes i think the build is successful now let's go to our layout file and add the recycler view let me add the recycler view now the width will be match parent and the height will be wrap content since we are in a constraint layout we have to add the constraint also let me first add the ID and then the vertical constraint since the recycler view will be by default scrollable no need to add the scrollable option here We have to add the layout manager there are different types of layout managers but right now i am using a linear layout manager now we will define a recycler view in our main activity recycler view recycler view equals to find view by id r dot id dot recycler view now to implement the recycler view we need an adapter to create an adapter we have to create a new java class i'm naming my java class as my fang adapter for this adapter we need to extend recycler view dot inner class of of this class which i am going to create right now yes as i have created the class i also have to implement few methods now that i have implemented these methods i have to extend my view holder class the inner class that i have created and then I have to extend it with view holder and implement the methods in it. We need to set up a variable for our data set. The fine companies that I have created in the main activity are needed to be passed to introduce fragment. The get item method item count method returns the length of our data set. now as that we have created an adapter we need a layout file to to view our list items i am creating a new layout file with the name fang underscore layout in this layout file as you can see we are in a constraint layout and you also have to change the layout height to wrap content now i also added a image view with the width and height as 100 dp so that we will get a compact view of our company logo i'm adding the id as in id 
and as we are in a constraint layout i'm adding constraint start to start of parent top to top of parent and then now i'm going to add the text view which will have width as match parent and height as wrap content and the text size i'm adding as 34 so that it would look good as compared to the image view adding the other constraints the horizontal constraint and the vertical constraint and i'm adding a little bit of margin so that it looks good uh, match parent is covering the whole image view also so i'm converting it to no wrap content now as that we have created our layout file now we have to get that layout file into our fang adapter to get that layout file we need to use a layout inflator so i'm creating a layout inflator and getting the inflating the view using the inflator uh, dot layout dot our layout file comma parent comma false my view hold adapter is the inner class that i have created i have to pass this view into the inner class and return the view the my view holder now i have to get the image view and the text view that i have created in the fang layout in the my view holder class i am declaring the variables image view and text view image view equals to item view is the view that we have grabbed inside our parent class now i am getting the image view by id r dot id dot image is not coming here maybe i have to change the name of the variable i'm changing the name of the image view to id of the image view to image view correcting it in the text view as well yeah now you can see that this variable is visible text view equals to item view dot find view it i didn't give the text views id so let me go the, to the layout file and add the id as well id equals to text underscore view now i will use this id in my my view holder class yeah now that i have got all the variables that are in our layout file i have to assign the variables in the on bind view holder method i am getting this is a default method when we were overriding it to match our cont customization now holder the text view is a text view that we are getting from the layout file and setting each layout item over here now for loading the image i am using a library called picasso i will leave the link of the github repo of picasso it's a very good library as we are getting the images from internet i am adding user permission in our android manifest file internet yeah now that i have added the user permissions also i will go into my adapter class and load the image into my picasso into the image view not get load i have to enter the image url over in the load position not get url and i have to load this loaded image into the image view now that i have done the our adapter class is ready to test let us go ahead and test my adapter class it says in installed but the names are not coming let's see why I found that 
we have the constraint that I have given is bottom to top but that I have to give is top to top of parent now that I have added that let us run the emulator and see hola you can see how this has come hope this tutorial has helped you for more such tutorials subscribe to my youtube channel and please let me know your thoughts in the below section